Are you one of the 250 million Discord users currently hosting one of tens of millions of Discord servers? And do you want to know how to make the best welcome page for your Discord server in 2020 and onwards? Welcome everybody, I am Jochen and welcome to Jochen's Domain of Great Games and Guides where I will show you how to make a welcome page where you can react or add a command for agree as a backup and then be unlocked into a server. First thing you need to do is go into the description below, I have got my invite link down there and join my Discord server. Once you're in my Discord server, you can see over here there's only three channels available and then if you verify after reading all the information, you can verify and agree and then one, as soon as you agree, you will be unlocked to the rest of the server itself. Now I'll be stepping you through exactly how to set that up in your server. First thing you want to do is you want to go down to the help information and read the help information over here, especially the self-help information. In the self-help, all these commands can be executed in FunBots and there is also a Discord formatting section which might be useful for you later in this video. And then the other item that you want to know is the welcome page command. So copy that welcome page command, go to FunBots and then type in welcome page and enter. Here are all the instructions that you need to follow in order to get your Discord server up and running. Now this is about the time that you can say I like this video because clearly it's going to be very informative and it's going to be very easy. I doubt it'll take about, it'll take less than 20 minutes, maybe 10 to 15 minutes and you will have this entire setup in your Discord server. So as you can see Stealthy Raptor has got a access to all of these channels at the moment, the welcome channel. We want to lock down that only new members can see the welcome channel. The public channel can be accessible by new members as well as existing members in your server and then the hidden channels will only be visible to people who have passed your verification and then the rest of the server will get unlocked to them. So let's step you through how to exactly do that. Now I'm on Stealthy Raptor who's got uh, he's a brand new member. I'm going to go back to Jochen who has got control over the server and then step you through those instructions. Now, as per the instructions, you want to invite Coralbot and invite Dinobot. Let's click on Invite Coralbot and then select your best welcome page server. Click on Authorize and then select I am not a robot. Once that goes through, you can close the, the website and then go to Invite Dinobot and do exactly the same steps. Yes, I want to select the best welcome page server and Authorize. I am not a robot, even though you are Dino, and then we can close that down. Now you can see that Coralbot and Dinobot has been added to your Discord server. To make things easier, I am going to go into the uh, server settings and under roles, I'm going to make Coralbot and Dinobot a different colored role so that we can easily see that it is bots. What's step two? Create an unlock role as the new lowest role. So go back into server settings, go to roles, and now we want to create a new role. This role I'm going to call unlocked or verified even, verified. And I'm going to make it a green role so we can see that that is all good. And save changes and close that down. So. Stealthy Raptor is still not does still not have any roles assigned, so you can see verified is not assigned. So step three, we want to move Coralbot and Dinobot to the top of the roles list. So let's have a look at that. Go to server settings, go to roles. Okay, so Coralbot and Dinobot is above verified. This is important because if Dinobot is underneath verified or if Coralbot is underneath verified they will not be able to assign the verified role to new members. They can only manage roles that are underneath them. So please make sure that Dino and Coralbot is to the top of your verification or of your role listing. Save the changes if you needed to make any changes and then close that down. Now one thing to note is that your everyone role will become your locked role. So we will make sure that if 
If new members arrive and they haven't been assigned a new role in your server, they will be locked down to only the welcome page and the public channels. Now, also something that we need to take note of is to enable development mode if you haven't yet. To do that, you go to user settings and you go down to appearance. And then once you're in appearance, scroll all the way down under developer mode, make sure that is ticked on. This will allow you to get to IDs. So for instance, if you go to the message over here, there's a copy ID section. We'll actually make use of that at a later stage. Now, what is the next step? That is step one, two, and three all done within, what, three minutes. So fantastic, we're all going good. Next is how to lock and unlock a channel. What do we want to lock? We want to lock the welcome channel to ensure that only new members without roles can access that. So we need to set everyone to read messages tick and the unlocked role to read messages untick. So under the welcome channel, we will go edit channel permissions. Everyone read messages tick. And then we want to add the unlock role, which is verified and read messages untick and save changes. Now we have got, as soon as they get verified, the welcome channel will be hidden from them. So they will only see the welcome channel if they are new members. Next thing that we do is to create the public channel. So let's see, where's the, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. we need to lock so the locked server channels. We now want to do the opposite, right? So for everyone in the hidden channels over here, I'm going to go to the category, edit the category, permissions, everyone. I don't want everybody to see this. I only want verified people to see this. So everybody read messages. No, thank you. And then verified people read messages. Yes, please. And save those changes. Now you can easily then just go into the unlock channels or the channels below that category and you can go to permissions and you can synchro synchronize the permissions there if you need to. So ensure that everyone is read no and verified is read yes. So that's done. And there we go. Step four, five, six, and seven is already done. This is too easy. Again, this is about the time that you press that like button and subscribe to my channel because there's great guides like this. And uh, please come to the server, say hi, hang out in there. Uh, there's, there's a really good community that we're building up. And what else is there? Create the welcome message. Now, that's this message over here. And I recommend you can use coral embeds and or you can use and slash or you can use dino embeds. Now for dino embeds, you can embed the messages uh, if you've got a premium. For coral embeds, you can do it without premium. So probably coral would be the easiest way. You can click on that link. That tag builder. How to steal the messages from my server if you need to. So if you want to use this message, there's an easy way that you can steal that source code and import it into your server. So please just go and have a look at that video and that'll explain it for you. If you have got Dino Premium, this Dino Embed video will show you exactly how to make use of the Dino uh, Embed. And for, for the Yokens Domain Embed in the Welcome channel, I have created two embeds. The first embed and the second embed was triggered directly after each other. The first one has an image and then the second one has got all the rules. So that's how I got that. I get that question quite a lot. So that's why I'm highlighting that for you. Okay, so we have now created our embed messages and embed messages also allows you to um, make these kind of blue links. And if you're interested to find out more information, come to the channel, go to Funbots, type in help or you can just go to the help channel itself. And then if you use this uh, better links command, that'll explain to you how to actually go about and create these embedded linked messages. You can also use while you're constructing your messages and getting all of these color coded formats and all these different types of formats and bolds and 
the ultimate formatting style guide. That's another video that I created. So Please go into here, to watch that video. It's only six one minutes. One That'll explain to you a lot on how to actually get that going. Codes. And then once you're done, you can also go into my server and under Discord formatting, I have got all of that information readily available for you. So you can scroll down that and that would help you with that as well. Okay, so now we've got eight, nine and 10 done. We, I don't even think we're 10 minutes in. We're 11 minutes in and I'll edit this down a little bit. So I reckon we're not even 10 minutes in at the moment. So that's good. Now, what do we want to do? We want to create the welcome message. No, we don't. We've already done that. What we do want to do is we want to pin the welcome message. That is actually very, very important. So please come in here and make sure that that message is pinned in the channel. We're pinning the message because during the custom commands, we will actually purge this channel to keep it nice and clean as well. So we have got the pin message and now we deal with the access management. So we want to allow Carlbot as well as Dinobot to assign the unlock role, that verified role. We want them to assign that to the members when they either click on the verify link with reaction roles for Carl or with a custom command for Dino. So I'm gonna create a reaction role with Carl and if, if you click on this link, that'll take you to the wiki page for Carl and that'll explain to you how reaction roles work, um, how to trigger it, how to specify the channels, but I'll show you now anyway. Uh, the other item is for Coral Custom Commands, which we'll get to after this. So for your reaction role, what you wanna do is you wanna go to the CoralBot website. Once you're in the CoralBot, yep, load it up. Thank you, let's manage it. And these will list all your Discord servers for you. And of course, we are busy with the best welcome page Discord server using CoralBot and Dinobot. So I'm gonna click on the best welcome page. Now to enable reaction roles, you need to go to commands and then under commands, under roles, you wanna select that and you wanna make sure that react role is actually specified as enabled. Once that is specified as enabled, you can go down to reaction roles over here. And this is now where we're gonna actually enable that reaction role. We want to create a new reaction role we don't want to post an embed, we've already got an embed, so we only want to use an ID of the message. Please enter the message ID. Okay, we're gonna go back to the welcome page at the moment, which is this one. Here's the message, and because we enabled that developer mode, you can now get this ID from that copy ID section. I'm going to take that ID and I'm placing it into the message ID section over there. It also asks you where is that message. So that message is in the welcome channel. Once you've got that, you can now select the emoji that you want to attach as the verification role. So I'm going to add an emoji. I'm just going to put a heart there for now. And then the option that you have over here is the role that you want to assign when they click on that. So I want to add the verified role. And then the final item over here is the message type. Now the message type, we want to move down to verify. So we want them to verify on this emoji and when they click on the emoji, they will get the verified role. Uh, only allow members, no, that's fine. Blacklist members, no, that's fine. And create that. So now you will find, if you refresh the page, that you have got a welcome page, verification type. And if we go back, to our dyno, which is this one, it added the verification role over there. Now, if we go back to Stealthy, let's go back to Stealthy, which is this one over here, right? So you can see Stealthy Raptor now has got nothing, right? And because we set the priorities, he can see the welcome page and he can see the public page, which is open to both members as well as the public. Now, as soon as I verify this, the welcome page should disappear and the rest of the hidden categories should appear. So let's see if that works. And it works, the welcome page is gone. I can still see the public channels and then the hidden. And if you look at the, uh, this one over here, if I look at the public channel, Stealthy Raptor has now got that green indicator 
to say that he has been verified. Now, as a final item, so that is the reaction roll. Very easy to set up reaction rolls, and especially with Coralbot. And now we're going to do a custom command with Dinobot to ensure that we have got a backup. Now, why do we have backup? And I'll explain it over here. Why do we have Coral and Dino? Bots go down. If Coral is down, you still have Dino operational. If Dino is down, you still have Coral operational. They work very well together and I highly recommend adding both of these bots into your server. So for the custom command, these custom command links actually takes you to a video that explains how custom commands then work. Go to so let's do that. I'm going to close this down and close this down. And I want to go to the Dino website. Yep, go to Dino website. We want to manage our Discord servers and then select the server that you want to manage, which in this case is the best welcome page. Once we're in the best welcome page, now we want to enable custom commands. So you can go down to custom commands on the left and we want to add a command. I'm going to call it agree. And then as a response, I want to, oh, wait, I don't need to do delete anymore. I can just select delete. I also want to select silent because I don't want it to, I don't want the bot to say, hey, I've given them a role. They will just automatically know that they've got a role. But what I do want to do is I want to execute a role and then for the user who selected the or who executed the command and then I want to plus the role of verified okay and then just to keep the channel clean what you can do is you can then purge and you know what make it a hundred so if the command is executed, they will purge any other text or anything that was in the command. It just keeps it nice and tidy. Under permissions, what you want to do is you want to have the allowed channels as the welcome page. So this command will only run when it is in the welcome page. And then finally, we have got uh, variable references. Um, this will tell you exactly how to use some of these parameters and I have got some other videos if you want to go and look at the other videos um, to explain a little bit more about how this works so once that's done we can just uh, add the command and now we're going to go test that command as well so we want to roll user plus verified make sure there's no spaces in between over there otherwise it won't work and then we want to purge that and close that down. So I am on Yoken at the moment. I'm going to take away Stealthy Raptor's verification role. Uh, then when we go to Stealthy Raptor, uh, that's this one. So again, Stealthy Raptor lost his verification role and now he can only see those two entries. Now, let's imagine Crawlbot was down and I want to actually type agree. And then there we go, agree enter and all of a sudden stealthy raptor cannot see the welcome page can see public can see the unlocked and if we go back to yoken you can see that stealthy raptor is so the purge actually cleared that message over there and stealthy raptor has received its uh, verification role and that's it you are now done all you have to do is follow these steps 100 percent I've got all the links in here for you and also I've got a Patreon link there if you do want to support me. Uh, easiest way is to press a like and subscribe to this channel. Drop a comment down below and tell me if this guide has helped you. Tell me if you like the format of the guide and please come, come to the server and, and just have a chat. We, we're really trying to build out a YouTube community, a gaming community and a helpful guide community. So thank you very much for watching. Looking forward to seeing you again. And by the way, before I go, sorry, this is a revamp video of a video that I created in 2020, which was called the best welcome page way back. Uh, sorry, not 2020, 2018. And this is the revamp video and it's got reaction roles. It's got backups and it's got a clear guide that you can just follow and it should be all good. So thanks again, everybody. Hope you have a great time. Yoken out.